As the tomato turns, so does local news. Welcome to JTP TV. Good morning, everybody. It's Diane from the JerseyTomatoPress.com. I am in Madison, Wisconsin still, so you know I'm going to check it out. Um, it's about 28 degrees today. Don't ask me why. It's October 6th. I think they're having a cold front. But I was told that they have a very vibrant farmer's market here. So I figured I would share it with um, our local you know, residents in New Jersey and also all of you who love the farmer's markets and even run the farmer's markets. Maybe we'll get some tips or ideas. And this is quite a place for people. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm an early bird. So let's see what kind of people are setting up. Guys, I'm in Farmer's Market Heaven. Check out the raspberries. Beautiful. Look at that. Spinach, red spinach, spinach. Good morning. Bok choy. Awesome. Look at the beets. Now those are beets. I'll tell you, everybody, I know we have our lovely farmer's markets, but this is just blowing my mind. The Midwest is very serious about their farmer's markets, and at this time of morning, it's almost 8, there are people here, and it's cold. It's under 30. A lot of healthy stuff, too. But that's typical for farmer's markets, of course. Blueberry peach bars, wheat and dairy-free, cheddar chive scones. And everything here, according to the rules, is made by people. Look at the bread. Four-pound country. Wow, that's some loaf of bread. It's like a pillow. It is like a pillow. Where do you bake it? Uh, the bakery is just outside Blue Mountains. And how far the, is that from here? About 40 minutes. About 40 minutes. So you guys live in the country? Is that where you live? Yep. Or Do you like it? Yeah. It's gorgeous? It's beautiful. Especially this time of year with all the trees. Changing. Yeah, I bet. Mm -hmm. The farmer's market here in Madison, Wisconsin is you have to bake whatever you sell. So everything I show you today is going to be made by the people who are selling them. So here we have some handmade hats, very beautiful, cool scarf, you know I'm going to spend money, all kinds of cool stuff. Okay now, we're here at Weston's Antique Apple Orchard. Let's see. Whoa. Look at all the apples. 1866, they have the the year of when they're from. This Esopus Spritzenberg is from 1790s. This is quite a farmer's market. Possibly seedling of wines. Have look at these. This is all apples at this uh, particular vendor. And now we have oh, wonderful looking greens. Yeah. Where are these grown? How far is that from Madison, Wisconsin? 35 minutes. Oh, it's beautiful. And are you here in the winter now, right? Yes. All year? Not at this market, but a couple blocks off. So there are markets in the winter. Do you have them indoors? Yes. Okay. Sauce. Buying all those tomatoes. We need to know. The Jersey Tomato Press. <laughs> Tell us. Just to make some sauce. Just to make some sauce. We say gravy in uh, Jersey, so. Oh. <laughs> so she's going to make some sauce, a.k.a. gravy. Now here's another little tidbit for everyone. A great coffee place here. Um, this market opens at 6 in the morning. Wow. Look how big it is, guys. It goes on and on and on. And it may be 28 degrees, but I'm going to deal with this. Let's see here. We have uh, Madison Farmer's Market. Some people are still setting up. Beautiful. And they're really promoting their brand. I could go on and on, everyone, but it will be a one-hour documentary, which isn't a bad idea if you come back here. Or I come back here. I'll just get you a great shot here of Chula Vista Cheese Company from Browntown, Wisconsin, with the State House behind her. The cheese looks great. Now, am I allowed to take this on the airplane? I would think I could, right? Oh, yeah. So guess what, guys? I'm finally getting my cheese to take home. And those are the famous cheese curds? Yes, I've never seen them. Let's hold some up and look. I've never had them. Oh. So how, how do you... The cheese curds is the first process of the cheese? It's basically curds are... That's what it looks like before it is put into a form and pressed and aged. So okay. And what does it taste like? Is it like a tangy or... very mild and it'll squeak when you eat. It'll squeak when you, well, we have to do that on camera. I'm going to have to get somebody to do that for me. Thank you very much. Sure. These are whoopie pies, guys, and we're in Wisconsin. You know they're going to be good. So you said it's Winks, and you ship them anywhere in the country, correct? Yes. Holy, oh, look at these guys. So it's chocolate with, what's in the middle, like a, just a frosting? Some vanilla cream, similar to a buttercream. Oh, I'm sold. Mm -hmm. about catnip again? What's your name, sir? Tom. Tom, and you're from which company? What is it called? Nordhaus Gardens. Okay. 
There it is. And yes. tell us again what Nordhaus catnip. Nordhaus Gardens and Crafts. Nordhaus Gardens and Crafts. And what does catnip taste like again? Like mushrooms. Oh. Mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Well, I grow catnip at home. My cat loves it. But I'm sure it's good for humans too. And you have chives and sage, oregano. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, I only. I, I, I can only sell what I grow. Right. So. So you grow whatever, all of this. In season. That's what you do. You notice I've got chive, chive flowers? Yes. Oh, they're beautiful. That's a close up of that one. They're actually too pretty to open almost. Do you ship them to other parts of the country or now? No. Would you do it if someone called you? Some wonderful vinegars. Look at this. There's vintage vinegar, there's onion vinegar, there's all kinds. Chive. Catnip vinegar. What is catnip vinegar? Is catnip it for my cat? Catnip vinegar. <laughs> yeah. Is it made with catnip, right? Yeah. So I guess my cat would like that. Well, it uh, changes when you put it in vinegar. Of course. Where do you make the vinegar? What part of the state? Okay. Right here in Madison? Pretty neat. Yeah. How long have you been making vinegar? How many years? About 30 years. Wow. Okay, everyone, we're about to meet someone very special. Farmer John. Hello, Farmer John. Hello. Now, you were telling me what about this farmer's market? This is the largest farmer's market in the country. Wow. Yes. And I believe it. And now yours curds. I just had one. They squeak when you chew them. Yes, they're fresh and squeaky. They come with curds and whey. Like the little Miss Muffin. Here's Look curds. at That's that, everybody. Now, will you ship to people or we'll no? To you do? Too, yes. All right, I have his information, everyone. It's www.farmersjohnstore.com, and I will put it in the front page. Thank you, Farmer John. Thank you very much. Your, where is your um, grass greener gardens? Where are you located? That, the farm is in Monroe. Where, how far is Monroe from Madison? About 45 minutes. Okay, so you live on the farm. I live on the farm. How cool is that? And look, Bush and Pax. Bush, Bush and, and Pax. Pax. That's our grocery store in Beloit. Now, do you ship these to stores across the country or Some now? Some stores are housing these products. We're still not large enough to do a lot of wholesale business. Okay. Those are our traditional garlic dills. Oh, my God. I just had delicious. Oh, my God. And that is a mild heirloom tomato salsa. Okay. I'm going to try it if I don't break it in there. Oops. Try the mild heirloom tomato salsa. Everybody, here it is. It's a hot pepper relish. Mm, but <laughs> wow, delicious. Those are bread and butter pickles. Bread and butter pickles. I'm trying one, everybody. Ah, oh, these are delicious. All USDA certified organic. Wow. Pickle beets, you have it all. Yep. Okay, everyone, we're about to meet someone very special. Farmer John. Hello, Farmer John. Hello. Now, you were telling me what about this farmer's market? This is the largest farmer's market in the country. Wow. Yes. And I believe it. And now yours curds. I just had one. They squeak when you chew them. Yes, they're fresh and squeaky. They come with curds and whey. Like the little Miss Muffin. Look at that, that everybody. Yeah. Now, will you ship to people or we'll no? To you do? Too, yes. All right, I have his information, everyone. It's www.farmersjohnstore.com, and I will put it in the front page. Thank you, Farmer John. Thank you very much. <laughs> Well, before we say goodbye to Madison, Wisconsin, let's look at the eucalyptus and the bouquets of gorgeous flowers. Look at these. Wow. Beautiful. And look at these gorgeous babies. Wow. The farmer's market wraps around the entire block here of the Madison, Wisconsin State Capitol. And right beyond it is the Frank Lloyd Wright Pavilion, which is gorgeous. Overlooks a huge lake. It's just beautiful. Well, from Madison, Wisconsin, it's Diane Lilly of the Jersey Tomato Press coming home today with lots of new ideas for our farmer's markets.